Cause I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stop in this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own Yeah, I got what it takes Hello and welcome back So lately we've been doing a lot more scrapping Um, I think Probably on average I'd say maybe about twice a day uh, usually Mr. Volt likes to go in the mornings and then also in the evenings. So it has been a huge help um, because, as you know, uh, we do have another channel, Volt Diving. And on that one we do a lot of retail and food dives. But the scrapping has just been a huge help. You know, we use that to pay our bills and, you know, get extra money. So if anybody is interested in that, I mean, just keep going at it. It's like with any dumpster diving. You know, you have to keep going with it and be consistent with it because there's days where you're not going to find much and then there's days that you're just going to find huge, huge scores. And of course, it's not just scrapping too. Um, of course, that's like a quick, not so much easy, but it's like a quick way to make some, some cash. But if you do find um, valuable stuff, I mean, you could always sell that on eBay or even on Amazon, but it just depends on the item. And that's what we like to do. So like this right here, there's some brass and copper um, bottles and cans. We do get good money for that, but as you know, that goes for our kids. So they make their money from that. Uh, Mr. Volt doesn't take every single bottle either. So sometimes, you know, he'll grab it and then sometimes he won't. Um, because our kids also help out with scrapping as well and yeah they get their money from that too so you know just because we don't take every can um, there's stuff like this right here this is aluminum so something like that could be worth more which is why sometimes we don't take every bottle and can but there's a lot of stuff that can be recycled I know it can be overwhelming for new scrappers but you know, that's how it was for us too. Um, we, you know, we never really did this before. And Mr. Volt, he's like, he's addicted to scrapping now. He loves it. It's like he needs to go out there and find more. And for him at least, he says it's relaxing, you know, to go through the scrap and clean it up. So. Yeah, that's how we do it. We separate it into our totes and then we'll just process it like during the week. And once we have a full load, we take it in. And this video was recorded before we got our trailer, um, but the trailer has been a huge help, especially right now with the gas prices. Just being able to still use the Volt and have a large load. <laughs> Mr. Volt says that um, all the guys at the scrapyard and when he's out scrapping, they they're checking out his trailer so he says that he's constantly getting comments about it that they like his trailer and how he's able to use the volt like you know the electric part of it and still be able to take large loads but I mean even without the trailer we were still taking in a lot of the non ferris so that's always an option Those foam pieces right there, I don't think they have it on them. It looks like it's already been cleaned out, but there was aluminum pieces on there. And if you find any of these, like, tubes, <laughs> I forgot what they're called, but um, if you just open it up like that, there's a copper wire inside, and it's actually a good amount of weight. So you can just cut it right there and, and pull it out. And, yeah, add that to your copper pile. It doesn't take very long either, so that's something that Mr. Volt found out. And also stuff like this, um, technicians, they, they do their jobs and then they'll just throw out the rest of their stuff that they're working on. So Mr. Volt finds a lot of these like little kits and like leftover pieces. And he loves those because he can just separate them and that adds a lot of weight too. Even these bags right here, if you find like some empty ones or, you know, if you want to empty it out. Um, yeah, you can use those too for your cans and bottles. 
I mean, use whatever you can. And also the scrapyard that we go to, they recycle those bags, so I mean, it's actually helping by taking them out. Now we haven't been doing this too long, but I mean, if anybody has questions, let us know. We, you know, we'll try to answer them. Um, if anybody else knows about scrapping, feel free to answer any questions as well. I know it's different for everyone, different places. <laughs> Sometimes it's even different within the same scrapyard. Just depends on who's helping you. But in general, I mean, once you start figuring it out, it gets easier. And we've been having a lot of, um, yeah, good, well, good loads lately. So, like I said, with the trailer, we've been filling it up with steel now. Uh, before, we weren't able to take steel. So, now that we are, I mean, that's also been a huge help because um, Mr. Volt's been, it's like a, not a membership, but it's just a frequent user at the scrapyard. So, they uh, pay a little bit more for steel. And that's good too because, like, you know, we do donate 5% of all of our scrap money to St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. So that has been a huge help as well. All these little bits and pieces right here, yeah, they add up too, so you can't find big chunky pieces, feel free to take the little ones. Because like I said, sometimes there's not much and sometimes there's so much. Now, Mr. Volt, he can lift you know, a good amount. And there's been a couple times where he's had to leave some stuff behind because I mean, there's pieces that are like hundreds of pounds and they're thrown in the dumpster so it's harder to, you know, take out. But always be careful, you know, know your limit and your strength and what you're able to take out. Because you don't want to get hurt also by, you know, taking out some heavy pieces. So just always be careful and then, yeah, just practice with it. Keep going with it because it will get better and easier. And we noticed too that a lot of scrappers, at least around this area, they tend to do more like driving by. So they'll scan the area and see if there's anything out. Um, we haven't noticed too many that will go into the dumpster or even like really go through the dumpster. So that could be for your advantage too. You know, if you want to dig in and look around, you might find some other stuff that other people don't see. So, yeah, that was just a gift from a man that was doing a, looking for pallets. So, yeah, he stopped and talked to Mr. Volt, and Mr. Volt let him know about the channel and what you know what we do with the scrap. So he was so nice, and you know, without even checking the channel, he just offered you know ten dollars to help out. And um, yeah, he had even just told Mr. Volt like use it, you know or your guests, whatever you know you need, or, or just to help out with the channel, and yeah, that was just really nice. So, 
that happens sometimes too. Um, you know, we'll talk to people and let them know what we're doing. And there's just so much kindness. Like, I mean, yeah, we were not expecting that at all. Um, so we did donate that to St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. And usually we do our donations at the end of the month. Um, but this one we just did right now. But yeah, that's just um, one way that we're able to give back by doing this. Because, like I said, the scrapping has been a huge blessing. You know, we never did this before, but it's been a huge help. And it's allowing us to just keep going out there. So if anybody is thinking about, you know, making money or they need to make extra money, you know, maybe check it out. <laughs> and that was a 14 karat gold ring. Um, it was smashed, but Mr. Volt, yeah, he was determined to find those diamonds, so <laughs> he stayed out there for a while, actually. <laughs> He's picking up any glass, rocks, anything he can find. <laughs> he even went back the next day during the daylight to check it out. <laughs> Unfortunately, he did not find the diamond. But um, yeah, just even with that, I mean, we're going to donate 5% also from the gold from the ring. So we are just waiting on um, some other pieces that we found. Um, there was some boards or something. They had a lot of gold on them. So we're going to take that in and see how much we can get for it. And whatever we get from the ring, we'll also donate the 5%. That's really cute right there, like just need a little quick fix and our daughter loved that little frog. So of course we want to give our shout out to today's subscriber. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all of your support. We just want to say, you know, we really do appreciate all of it. And if you do want to be featured on here, just leave a comment on this video. And we do pick one subscriber from every video. So that's just a way we say, you know, thank you. <laughs> so subscribe and thanks for watching. Bye.